you are welcome to this class. Thank you for joining us. Here we want to find the value of x in this equation. x minus 6 raised to power 4 plus x minus 8 all raised to power 4 equals to 16. Ensure you follow us to the end of this class so as to gain one or two things from this class. Now here, let's rewrite this second bracket to resemble the first bracket. And we have x minus 6 all raised to power 4 then plus x minus 6. I want to bring out this minus 6 from here then. So what we have minus is here. That will not be minus 2. Then raised to power 4 equals to 16. Now, since we have x minus 6, x minus 6 is common. Let's use the letter u to represent x minus 6. Then we can write this and say this will be u raised to power 4 plus we have u minus 2 raised to power 4 now. Yeah. Then which is equal to 16. And uh, from here now, we can simplify u minus 2 raised to power 4. And uh, this will become u raised to power 4 plus u raised minus 2 raised to power 2. So when we split power of 4 into 2, then raised to power 2 again. So 2 times 2 will be 4 which is equals to 16. Then, we can expand the u minus 2 square first. And that will be, this time will become u raised to power 4 plus, so u minus 2 square. That will give us u square minus 4u, then plus 4. Then, we square it again. That's equals to 16. Now, once we have inside this bracket, that is this expression here, the second expression on the left resembles something like a plus b plus c all squared, which same thing as a squared, same thing as a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ac now when we follow this to expand the, what we have here now so this line will become u raised to power 4 then u square is standing as a minus 4 u is standing as b then our 4 is standing as c so we have a squared as plus u squared then squared so plus b squared, that's plus minus 4u squared, plus c squared, that's plus 4 squared, then plus 2ab, that's plus 2 times u squared, times plus 2 times u squared, then times b, that's times minus 4u, then plus 2bc, that's plus 2 times b, that's minus 4u, then times c times 4. Then also we have plus 2ac, so we have plus 2a, that's u squared, then c, that's 4, equals to 16. We have equals 16. Now, when we simplify what we have now, from here, we have u raised to power 4, then plus, these two can multiply these two as well, that's u raised to power 4, then when we square this, that's minus 4 squared, that will be plus 16, then u squared, then plus 4 squared there is 16, so 16, then we multiply this. 2 we multiply 4, that will be minus 4, that's minus 8, then u squared times u, that's u raised to power 3, u keep, then we multiply this as well, 2 times minus 4 times, you know, 4, that will be minus 32u, then also we have plus 2 we multiply 4, that's 8, we have plus 8u squared, then equals to 16. 
So this is what we have left now. Then we can simplify. U raised to power 4, U raised to power 4. This gives us 2 U raised to power 4. Then plus U16. Okay, let's rearrange so that with the power, the next power now that is U raised to power 4, that will be minus. So we have minus 8 u raised to power 3 then we have u raised to power 2 we have that's 16 plus 8 and that's 24 so we have plus 24 u square now so no more u square then the u that we have is only minus 32 so we have minus 32 u then this 16 on this side can cancel each other. We have 16, we have 16. So we are left with 0. So from here now, we can bring out what is common. Of course, 2 is common with this. And also u. So we bring out 2u now. And uh, we have what is left as u raised to power 3. Then minus what is left here will be 4u squared. That's minus 4u squared. Because we are taking out, you know, 2u. Then what is left here will be plus 12u, then minus 16 left here equals to 0. Then from here, so we have the two cases we have here is the first one is 2u equals to 0. And also we have that u raised to power 3 minus 4u square plus 12u minus 16 equals 0. Now, on this side, when we solve this, we have u equals to 0. Because when you divide both sides by 2, u equals 0. And don't forget the value of u. We let x minus 6 to be used. So, we can say x minus 6 equals to 0 now. So, taking minus 6 to that side, that means x equals to 6. So, we got a value of x here. That is x equals to 6. Now, in this cubic equation here, we can get a factor first. Now, when we substitute u equals to 2, we discover that this everything here will be 0. So, u equals to 2 is a root. That means u minus 2 will be a factor. u minus 2 will be a factor. So, now, if u minus 2 is a factor, that means u minus 2 we divide. That's, you know, remainder theorem. u minus 2 we divide this particular, you know, cubic equation. So let's use u minus 2 to divide. And then, so when we use u minus 2 to divide, we have u minus 2 dividing this polynomial, that is, u raised to power 3 minus 4 u squared plus 12 u minus 16. Now, the method is u will go in u raised to power 3. You are going to have u squared. Then use u squared to multiply these two numbers. That's u squared times u. That will be u raised to power 3. Then u squared times minus 2. That's minus 2 u squared. Then we can now subtract. When we subtract, u raised to power 3 minus u raised to power 3, that's 0 here. Then minus 4 u squared. That will be minus minus. That's plus 2 u squared. So this will give us minus 2 u squared. Then we can bring plus 12 u down. So from there, we repeat the process. u goes in this. Minus 2 u squared. That will be minus 2 u. Then minus 2 you multiply this 2 again. Minus 2 you multiply u. That's minus 2 u squared. Minus 2 you multiply minus 2. That will be plus. That will be plus 4 u. Then we subtract again. This one becomes 0. Then 12 u, you know, minus 4 u. That will give us 8 u. Then we can bring down minus 16. Repeat the process again. u goes here. That's plus 8. Use 8 to multiply this 2. That's 8 times u. That's 8 u. Then 8 times minus 2 minus 16. Subtract again. This gives us 
you know, 0, 0. That means the after dividing by u minus 2, the equation left is uh, so we have u equals to 2 already, so u equals to 2, and what is left is now u square minus 2u plus 8 equals to 0. So we have this quadratic equation left here. Now, from this u equals to 2, don't forget that our u is same thing as x minus 6, which is equals to 2. So when you take minus is here, that means x equals to 2 plus 6, and then we have x equals to 8. So we get another value of x here to be equals to 8. Then let's bring it down here. We have gotten x equals to 6 before. So this is the first value of x. Let's call this the second value now. That is x2 equals to 8 now. Then also from this quadratic equation we can solve and say a here is coefficient of u squared as 1. B is minus 2 and C is 8. So when you use the formula u equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. So this will become so u will now give us so u will be minus b that's minus minus 2 plus or minus square root of b square that's minus 2 squared minus 4a, that's times 1, times c, that's times 8, all over 2 times 1, 2 a, that's 2 times 1, and that's 2. So that means u will now be equal to minus times minus is plus, that's 2, plus or minus square root of minus 2 squared, that's 4, then minus 4 times 8, that's minus 32, then over 2, so that means u is now equal to 2 plus or minus, we have square root of minus 28, 4 minus 32 minus 28, then over 2. And we can separate minus 28 as, that will be u equals to 2 plus or minus square root of, we have 7 times 4, then times minus 1. And square root of 4 is 2. We can take that out. And of course, square root of minus 1 is i. So we can write this as u equals to 2 plus or minus 2 root 7 now, then i over 2. So these two can divide. And we have u equals to 1 plus or minus root 7 i. So we have this. That means we have, you know, two values here. The first one being u. So we have u equals to 1 plus root 7i. And when we solve this, don't forget our u is x minus 6. That's the value of u. Then equals to 1 plus root 7i. When we take minus is here, become plus. I mean x is now equal to 1 plus 6, that's 7 plus root 7i. So let's call it the third value of x. Then also, the second value of u is 1 minus root 7i. Then u is x minus 6, which is equal to 1 minus root 7i. Also take minus is there become plus. So x will now be equal to 7 minus root 7i. So let's call this the fourth value of x. And then, therefore, we can conclude that the values of x we got from here are x equals to 6. So we got x equals to 6 as the first in you know, value of x. Then the second value, x equals to 8. We got the third value as 7 plus root 7i and we got the this is the third value we got the fourth value as 7 minus root 7i and these are the values of x we have from here we say thank you for watching to the end don't forget to subscribe to this channel turn the notification bell on so as to receive notification when we upload you know videos thank you
you see in the next class and bye for now